Hi, it's Joe Glines. In this video, we're going to do a quick review of the string split split um, function. Um, you probably use this. I, I learned something a little bit over the weekend with uh, Maestrith, a little tip I picked up, which was cool. But first, we're going to introduce it here. So I have an, um, my example string getting saved into a variable. And then what I've done is I've put, um, I'm using string split to, to split the variable. Um, on the space, and I'm going to store that in S, and that stores it into an array, and that allows me to say, like actually here, if I type message box percent S dot one, now I'm going to save this, reload it, and run it, and it'll say my, because it stopped at the first space, right, it put it into there. Now let me, um, here, let's do it this way, so let's put a a tab S dot two, and a tab S dot three. So now, when I reload and launch, it's breaking them apart, um, putting a tab in between each one. But S one, S two, S three in the array, because this is the uh, an array stored in S, and so S one will access the first one. So you know what I could have should have done, right? Was said, let's go three, three, one, two, right? We're going to change the order. So now it's string my example, so three one two instead of one two three, um, or if I just wanted to to go to the next one, I'm just gonna hit OK here, and it'll iterate over each one in this little loop here. Because here's the max index, which tells you how many there are, so it'll loop three times, and then each time it's gonna iterate over what the loop one is, right? So my example string, um, pretty straightforward overall. This is what you tell the delimiter to be. Like if I change this to be, let's say, an M save and reload, um, it's parsing it on the M, right? So it looks crazy here because that makes no sense, right? But if it was a comma or a tab, right, that's how you would tell it that. You can tell it to omit characters. But here's the cool thing I learned, which I didn't realize, was often I want to I wanna get everything up to the, let's say I wanted up to the first space, right? So I'm going to come back in here. So what I would, typically in the past, what I would do is I would say, okay, even though I only want the first one, um, I will do this, and then I will then down here say um, my var equals s dot one. In that way, I have now that value my var, and let me go ahead and get rid of these two. When I run it, now I've stored the first thing up to that space, right? My in this. Um, my var variable, right? But let's say I really actually, I didn't really need it in a variable, but I still had to go through this process where I first use string split on it, I save it into an array. Um, of course, I could have just used this value, but hey, what if my only purpose was to isolate this and I didn't want to save this anywhere, right? Um, what I didn't realize you can do is, I'm going to borrow this and get rid of the rest of that. So now I've, I've commented the, all that out, right? I'm going to put this back in here, but here I'm going to say message box up here, and now check this out. I'm going to put dot one here, right? So now when I save and launch, it puts up with that. I'm not storing that anywhere, right? I am just calling this this function, but telling it, give me the first um, index in that array. And, or I could, of course, change it to the second, or let's do the third. Oop, not the 34th, okay. Um, so I could say, hey, give me the third, you know, value, um, the third index in this array, and not even stored anywhere. So that way, if I my only need was for putting it in something else, I don't have to store it, right? I mean, here I'm putting it in a message box, but this easily could have been in some sort of another function, and I never had to store this variable, um, this value as a variable, or break it into an array and then go grab it from the array. It just runs the function, I get to use it in something else, and I don't have to store it, which I just I thought that was awesome because I um I don't have to worry about deleting other variables later that I didn't need or taking up not that it takes up a lot of RAM, but you know, why store something that you don't actually want to store? Thanks.